Hey loveys, welcome to my channel, Craft Away with May. I'm May. If you are new here, thank you so much for stopping by to see what I have going on today. If you are returning, thank you so much for coming back to hang out with me. I appreciate you all so very much. On this channel, I love to do all things DIY and crafting. I love to do them on a budget. However, I do love to splurge at times. But no matter what I'm doing at the end of the day, I love to have fun while crafting. If that is something that interests you, please consider liking, sharing, subscribing. And commenting, just know that those comments are only desired and not required just because I love chatting with you all after each video. I am back with my girl again this month. Our monthly co our collab is um, Summer and Theme, but we do want to apologize to you guys that we were not able to push these videos out last Sunday. The Lord said something different and we had to obey. We tried to roll it over to Monday. The wor work life on both sides <laughs> says something different and we just decided to push it out another week. So we appreciate your patience with us and we hope you find some inspiration today. We hope the wait was not in vain. So I'm going to just go ahead and jump into my first project. As you can see here, full disclosure, everything will be shown at the final reveal. I did most of my painting off camera. So I'm starting with this unfinished wood piece that I got from Dollar Tree. This dual sided crafting paper or cardstock that I got from Michael's one side it had seashells the other side it had the water and sand and I absolutely love that side of it both sides were gorgeous don't get me wrong but that was the side I preferred so I wasn't sure what direction I was going in with this anchor and it after sitting and pondering and writing things down it came to me a song that I have loved since I was young it's called my soul is anchored in the Lord and the song is such a reassuring song it's such an inspirational song to motivate you in your weakest times so I have always loved that song and I thought how nice would it be to add those words here so I'm just taking some of my unfinished letters I'm painting them in the color peacock by Waverly and just so you guys know the majority of colors that I used today was peacock pool and there's another one by um folk art but I can't remember the exact name and I'm using white hazelnut I'm using truffle, English navy, those are my base colors and I'm just doing a lot of distressing. Some are getting hard, the true actual colors to them, but you guys will see it as I move forward. So all I did was uh, put those wording, put the wording on there, used a couple uh, or one laser cutout of the cross from Dollar Tree. It's in that pack. I think it comes like nine in there or six or something. And I'm adding in some half beads here. I did go in and add some of the unfinished half beads after um i finished recording and you will see that in the final reveal now i did see that the l did move over a little bit i did adjust that after the final reveal as well but um nonetheless i saw it i took care of it and i absolutely love the way that turned out so next up i'm prepping for the next diy so here i'm just taking this napkin that i ordered offline as you guys know, I'm sorry, in my stash, I forgot, like, you know, where I got this one from, but <laughs> it was there. And so I decided to just do about three quarters of the way down because um, you'll see how I'm going to use this. And I love this project. Like all of these projects Jenny and I were sharing, you know, we were absolutely in love with everything we did. I don't know what she made. She doesn't know exactly what I've made, but we both were in agreement that today's projects I loved each one of them. She loved each one of hers. And I thought that was just so cool because that's rare. We always try to find, well, we don't try to, but we always identify or see something that turns one of our projects off. But I loved every mistake, everything that happened here today. And I hope you guys feel the same way. So next up, um, I took this sign. So it is going to be a beach sign. I'll give you that. Okay, it's going to be a beach sign because here in California, no matter what beach you're going to, big or small, you always find, they always have like these huge welcome signs before you enter in. So I wanted to do kind of a play on that. And so all I'm doing, that first napkin was a scenery and it just has sail, sailboats and a um, uh, lighthouse. I keep wanting to say flashlight when I'm talking about this. It's a lighthouse. <laughs> And then this one had some driftwood pieces. You know how it has where it'll say like the beach this way, swimming this way, sharks this way, you know, that kind of thing. And I thought that was so cute because I'm also going to uh, do a play on another deal where I, on, in here with um, trying to imitate some driftwood. But, okay, I'm jumping in. 
I get so excited, y'all. Oh, I'm just going in. <laughs> I did your basic decoupage on both of those. Added in more of those letters. And I did add some pop-up stickers or 3D stickers from Dollar Tree on there as well. So next up, I have this farmhouse truck that I got from a Hobby Lobby some time ago. I actually have quite a few of my sashes. I usually try to grab, grab them when they're on 40% off because it's only like $3.99. So it's a really good deal and it's a super good size. So... This one, what I'm trying to do, like I said, is create that welcome sign. So with this part of it, I wanted to, um, of course, put Beach Bum, as you guys can see. I did that for my Cricut Joy. And I wanted to create that illusion that they're driving towards the beach. Now, I love working with these, wood, these particular wood pieces because if you are into selling your items, this is really a good item to sell to market okay because i did one back in christmas i added some lights to it elevated it up, made it appear as though snow was falling through the window so these are items like this like if you're really you know looking at trying to get some of your products out there i was definitely definitely say invest here because you're not really losing money in comparison to getting things from dollar tree you know when you work those dollars and everything out you sometimes um, get a better deal when you invest a little bit more and in this case like i said it was 3.99 40% off so you know it wasn't a bad deal given the size so and 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 what pieces all around you know i know they've gone up a little bit but in essence they're not truly that expensive and they're very versatile so just keep that in mind because this is something that could easily go for like 12 15 dollars 20 depending on how much you put into it and so like i said this is just one of those items um that's good it's a good ticket okay it's a hot ticket <laughs> was a good seller for me anyway so what I'm doing here is as you can see I created the, the scenery now I'm just trying to give that feel that you know this person is relaxed they are taking all the things with them their flip-flops their sun hat beach towel beach bag beach ball fish and pole and I did have to chuckle here guys because <laughs> they're supposed to be driving there and then I had to ask myself may make it make sense how are they gonna already have the fish if they're driving there but they could have came from the lake or something on that sign I put lake bum so yeah oh, see how that works so y'all just let me have this moment for life let me have this moment for life for life <laughs> I know that's not how the song goes but you feel me? You feel me. Okay. So, <laughs> I'm just going in. I'm using my mixed adhesive and my uh, Gorilla Hot Glue in, in throughout the projects today. And it's working really well. Now, some of the um, pieces, like when I went to... Um, oh, I didn't tell you guys that part. Our little twist today. Hello, Mary uh, Mary May. Both of them. Um, I need to shut up. That's, that'd be the problem. I like to talk to y'all too much. But... Our twist was we had to use painter sticks on our project. So we were really ambitious and we were like, okay, we're going to do this. And as we both started moving along and was talking and chatting and laughing, we're like, yeah, that ain't going to happen. We ain't going to be able to put it on everything. <laughs> and y'all know my crazy stuff. I will definitely try, but I couldn't do it, y'all. So this is going to be where I use the painter sticks for the first time and you'll see that coming up in a minute and all I'm doing here is just adding in more of those pop-up stickers just so you guys know but with the paint paint sticks or painter sticks whatever you want to call them y'all know what I'm talking about okay and um, I just took I had the larger ones and I just wood glued them together to make them thicker and sturdier and then I use one of the wood sticks from Dollar Tree and you'll see that in a minute but I want to say hey if you are here from Jenny's channel welcome 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 I appreciate you guys if um, I will have her in for um welcome 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 hello back up May welcome 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 <laughs> and if you happen to stop here First, welcome, welcome, welcome. I will have Jenny's information in my description box below. Tell her I said hello. I love her. I'll be over to see what she has for you guys. I already know it's awesome. And you won't be disappointed. I promise you that much. So, as you guys can see here, I'm already assembling the... Um, truck and i just kind of wanted to create like i don't know i don't think it's considered a trellis but maybe like a half ladder missing a step or something i don't know y'all y'all can call whatever y'all want to call it it's completely okay with me 
I'm okay with that. So I'm just lining it up. I'm trying to line it up with the tires. I know it looks like it's a little pushed out here, but trust me, it comes together. It's straight up and down. The truck was a little lean, you know, it was a little leaning like they was hitting some rocks or something, but it was not super noticeable, people. Okay, it still came out cute. Trust me on that part. Now, I did stain these wood sticks with the truffle, uh, Waverly truffle paint or what? No, yeah, it is truffle paint. Okay, and so now I'm just adding in that round sign. And this is really it for it, guys. So you will see that at the final reveal. Here's where I'm just going to line it up. I am using my little measuring thingy there. Yeah, but see, it came together. Y'all yeah, see, trust me. We got to trust the process, y'all. Trust the process. I know I'm, you know, I'm not trustworthy when it comes to, you know, measuring out and sizing things up. But sometimes I get it right. Sometimes. So, yeah, there's that. <laughs> judge not, people. Judge not. So, <laughs> so, nonetheless, it worked. It's beautiful. I absolutely love this piece. So, like I said, you'll see it at the final reveal. And we're just going to go ahead and jump into our next project so next up is this wood round i did get this in a pack of i want to say three from uh hobby lobby and this is not the larger size they have but i do think it is the 12 inch size if i'm not mistaken and all i did was do a uh a plaster oh i don't think i mentioned that the waverly paint the color pass plaster and then i did some whitewashing uh with it with the um our not by washing, distressing, light distressing with the pool and peacock color to get that um, ocean feel, right? I didn't want it to be overwhelming. I kind of want it to be a little bit of the cloud sky versus the ocean. Yeah, I went there. And so I had these beautiful napkins I got from Amazon. I do remember that much. And I love these turtles. Oh my gosh, the color of them, just the size of them. They were just beautiful. The detail in that napkin was just absolutely gorgeous. And normally, I will just tear around it. But this one, I cut them out specifically how I wanted them because I wanted that detail present. And I took other bits and pieces from the napkin, applied it on there to give that illusion of the foliage on the, on the ocean floor. And then... I wanted to create a sign that says uh, West Coast Bound. So this was really gorgeous and super simple and easy to make, guys. I used some nautical rope from Dollar Tree, a little bit of my leather twine, just to fill in, add a little bit of color in between the wood round and the nautical rope. Um, it's not super aggressive, but it's noticeable. It's perfect in its size. So I wanted to create a different type of hanger. So I'm just tying off three knots at the top. I'm going to create a loop and that's going to be it for this project, guys. This is another, you know, style uh, or, or project that you can sell. Um, wood rounds are very versatile. You can always make them dual sided, put some weather protectant on them, coating or something along those lines so the element doesn't affect it. But I will be honest with you guys. I I have had some pieces that I did not put any coating on and they withstood the, the, the California heat and the rain we had. So just so you know, and no warping. Hello. I'm all for the no warping part. So all I'm doing here is putting in another little tiny um, turtle that I got out of a pack from Dollar Tree and I painted that off camera in the English Navy. So next up I had these coasters. So I've had them for a couple years, never really knew what to do with them because I don't use a lot of coasters and I only have a few. So I was like, okay, somebody had ordered a set of coasters but the number they ordered was very odd and I had like five left. So I found this napkin in the spring section, you know, little divots that the uh, Dollar Tree had left over and this napkin... Uh, I mean, come on, y'all, look at it. And I just painted the base, the color to match the napkin itself. This was absolutely gorgeous. It really reminded me of the ocean. Like, beautiful. Just so, so beautiful. And, of course, put some protection over there and you're good to go. You can also put your plants on those, too, if they're small enough. But next up, that's going to tie into this project. So next up, I'm taking a smaller serving tray from Dollar Tree and one that's slightly larger that I got from Michael's. I had another napkin that I decoupage it had a, a beach scenery and then this one also had one but this is rice paper and gir <sighs> girls y'all know when I say girl I'm like girl okay I'm loving this rice paper like it is everything it is so elevated and just so easy to work with and it just gives you this awesome finish like I cannot say that enough oh it is gorgeous I love it you guys have to experience at least once in your crafting career 
just just once at least. I promise me you'll do that. <laughs> you will not be disappointed. So I wanted to do a play on a tier tray, but I wanted to switch it up a little bit. So I wanted to put the tier the, the top tier over to the side in the corner, as you see here, kind of cat a corner there, and just set it off to the side because I feel like that way if you wanted to add maybe candles or something like that, it wouldn't really be in the way. If you want to put it on the top, you can do that. If you want to treat this like a candy dish or just have your coaster sitting on there perfect and all of these can be used indoor and outdoor guys that was the plus about it i do believe jenny is doing more outdoor but i'm like these can go either or i'm feeling that i really am let me know what y'all think so next step i wanted to make a lighthouse because i thought that would be cute on a table or centerpiece or something like that and i had picked up this piece of wood from dollar tree and of course you know wood is a, the wood at dollar tree ain't always equal you know it, it ain't created equal so um, it was two and a quarter inches <laughs> at the bottom and then two inches at the top. So I was like, perfect. So I did use my painter stick to create that little toppy part. I don't know what the toppy part is called. If you guys know, let me know. If not, we're going to call it the toppy part and we're going to move on. So I had another napkin here. I think I got these. Oh, uh, I wonder where I get these. I don't know. I'm not sure. I can't remember. Maybe TJ Maxx? Maybe. I don't know. Home goods, one of those places, I think. Anyway, <laughs> I might got offline. I don't know. I took in some more nautical rope, added in some half beads and some large jingle blocks. And there you have a lighthouse, baby. There you go. Now, this is like a bonus DIY. It is still summer and beachy. But because the new Little Mermaid just recently released, I was like, oh, I want to pay homage to the old and the new because I love both. You know, I love the idea of the new version and being inclusive and I love the old version because it's so sweet and it was it was still inclusive in my opinion but it was just you know I love the little story anyway I picked up this little mermaid from Hobby Lobby on the 40% off sale took some more of my letters that shell came from Dollar Tree it had the little star on the front so I just used the back because I didn't feel like doing all that extra work that's just me okay and I just put under the seat this is supposed to be kind of to mimic that iconic uh, scene where she's sitting on the rock she comes up you know sits there and she wants to be a part of their world I didn't want to put that on the seashell because I feel like it would be too many letters so I just went with under the sea because I do love that song from there under the sea hey. under the sea how can you not like sebastian oh yeah anyway <laughs> so, <laughs> i'm in a singing mood y'all are y'all ready nope i'm not even ready my mama will tell me to shut up but anyway <laughs> yeah. that's it i'm adding in the words and some embellishments now she did not i, I wish her silhouette was a little bit more defined it was just kind of uh, like um too blocky for me you know, like a blockish. It wasn't very defined, in my opinion. So I did add rhinestones, which were not originally a part of the picture. You know, but the colors and everything are are um, consistent with that. But I wanted to try and define her um, silhouette a little bit better. Um, I was going to add some rhinestones to make the bra, but then I thought maybe that will be a little bit too pro provocative. And I wanted to keep this sweet and innocent just like the movie. All right, so that was literally it for this, guys. Um, even her face definition was a little off to me. <laughs> So, but nonetheless, it still came out super cute. And I did remember she had that flower that she would wear in her hair. Now, here I was trying to show you guys a close-up. And I, I didn't think that part through, guys. But you will see it. <laughs> I should have left it spanned out, but me being May, you know, but there it is, the starfish. I put that in it, not the flowers, the starfish. So here's my play on Driftwood. Now, I saw this, um, a picture similar to this on Timu, and um, it was $1.78, but I was like, that's really cute and, of course, affordable, but I'm like, I could totally make that with the paint stick. So I am going to show um, it side by side. I think I did put it in here at the end of the video. So stay tuned for that. That and so now all you see that I'm doing, I'm taking some of this um macrame rope, tying it around, and I used all the colors that I mentioned. I used it on here, and it just reminded me of driftwood. At least that's why I think they were going with it. But I'm gonna add in just a few more embellishment than they did on that picture. And I did try to add it in here, guys, so you can kind of see a pop up, but it distorted the picture, so I'm not really sure what happened. But nonetheless, I'm taking one of these little um, miniature wood uh, cutouts from uh, Dollar Tree, some of my half beads, and leaving them all in their natural state. <clears throat> Sorry, guys, something scratching my throat. And it did say, um, life is better at the beach. I know I didn't mention that first. 
But I printed that out on my Cricut Joy, guys. And I gotta tell you, I really, I really, 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 really love, love this. I did add some more of that uh, macrame rope to the back. Some more of the little embellishments on the front to turtle a seashell. I probably should have defined that seashell a little bit more. It kind of looked like an ice cream cone. But nonetheless, it, it's a seashell. And I added some of the macrame rope to the back, guys, and I love this. I love this. Like that green, the green part down there towards the bottom was the only one I just kind of did a whole mix of colors with. <laughs> and there it is. But uh, when I tell you guys I love this piece, like it was just so cute and beachy like i just love this i i'm like i could see that totally up against the welcome sign with the truck and that's the true colors of them i did do white washing over all of them i added popsicle sticks on the back as you can clearly see you could definitely paint those if you choose to re, uh, recreate this but i like them in the natural state to be completely honest next up i found these cute towels they're called flower towels like the flower flower not like for your flower pots or anything but flower and i've never heard of flower towels so i have to ask my mama about that too but <laughs> they were in the kitchen section so i'm just gonna call them flower um i mean dish towels okay so i love this thing on these and I wanted to create some little pillows, little miniature pillows. You remember, like, I don't know if you guys remember, but a few years back, they were real popular with doing the little miniature pillows on the tier tray and things like that. But I wanted um, to make one for my wrist, to rest my wrist on. So um, I'm just taking stuff from another pillow that I had there that I had tucked away, forgot about, actually. Um, and when I was cutting this down, I didn't realize I was cutting it unevenly like uh, well I always cut stuff unevenly but y'all see me sitting there like I'm really trying to do something with that rodeo tool but no I should have taken it up a little bit more I should have cut it in half basically so anyway it still managed to work out it was a little bit off this one was the other one came out in a nice square but I was like you know what it's okay that they're a little different in shape but they had the cutest thing I love the colors on them because I am trying to marry those you know bright colors with some of the muted tones that I'm using today or creating today so all I did was take some of my hot glue and just um, turn it inside out as you guys saw I don't have issues using hot glue on my materials but you they do have fabric glue you can use you guys or you can do the actual stitching by machine or by hand but I just opted for the hot glue because like I said it works perfectly for me I'm just getting this really nice and fluffy and this does not have to be perfect. That's what I like about making little pillows and things like this because they don't have to be perfect. But if you want them to have those little point tails on them or point edges rather, just keep pushing it out until you get it to where you like it. But this this right here for me is just like I like the relaxed feel of it. You know, like the, I don't know, nonchalant feel of it. I don't even know, y'all. But there it is. I'm not going to take you guys through the other one, but it's still, it's still nice and fluffy, and it's just really nice, especially if you're in your devices a lot. This really works, and I just want to say thank you for being my subscribers. I love you guys. Thank you for coming back to hang out with me and laugh with me. I appreciate you guys so much. It makes my heart smile every time I see a comment. Y'all just don't even know. I love it. Like I'm like, I love my subscribers. I love you guys so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you from the bottom of my heart. So next up, I was like, okay, I haven't made a paper plate. Well, yes, I did. That's a lie. I Well, not really. I haven't made one like in the last month or so or two months. I'll say two months, okay? <laughs> I really don't think so either. I know I did the little ladybug thing, but it was kind of like you could put your letters and things in that too. Anyway, so... I was thinking like, okay, if you're doing, you know, having a couple of parties or something, why not make a, a paper and napkin holder? So I got these two nautical wheels from Dollar Tree. I did some heavy distressing on them and I thought I was maybe getting a little too heavy handed with it. But after I assembled it and I added in this macrame rope, I'm wrapping that around each little spike there. And once I did, I was like, I'm feeling this. I'm feeling, I'm, I'm feeling this. And I added in those little anchors from Dollar Tree. I'm like, I think I'm gonna leave it like this. I was on the fence with it, but I think you know. And then if I can, if I continue to look at it and not, and I'm not feeling it, I can just go over with a coat of paint. It's not gonna stop the world from spinning. So there's that. All right, so I'm just taking some of my mixed adhesive and hot glue and I'm adding it to one of the little mini palettes from Dollar Tree. And I am um, using one that's not one, but I'm using the little spikes from the wheel 
as the feet so this is going to have a little bit of elevation just because if i didn't do that do it that way it looked really weird to me and so if i can't uh get a good visual on it i'm just going to have to follow my instinct so i'm glad i did and all i'm doing here is just adding in some of the little heavier items to create support support why I, while I glue it all together but I do go in and reinforce it with some of the miniature uh, tumbling blocks tumbling tumble tower tumbling blocks y'all know the fake Jenga blocks okay the fake Jenga blocks they faking it while they making it <laughs> So it was a little wider than what I anticipated, but it worked out, guys, because you can use the smaller um, paper plates, foam plates, and the larger ones, too. If you're like me, like, I don't like my food to touch, so I like the little sectional plates more. So, yeah, hello. So, <laughs> so then I'm taking these little um, anchors. Now, I did get these either from Michael's or Dollar Tree. I, I mean, not Dollar Tree. Michael's or Hobby Lobby. And I honestly can't remember, but I painted them the same color, and this is why I kind of like the distressing more on here, and I think I might tone the um nautical wheels to kind of match this more but nonetheless it's still i still liked it so i'm taking in another one of those miniature palettes gluing it down but on this one i was going to try to use a little tips of the ore but it kept rocking like a little boat so i was like that's kind of cute but i don't want nap napkins like flying around and all that kind of stuff so I went in with four of the smaller jingle blocks, turned them on their side, and created feet with them that way. And it looked actually really cute. Like, I was like, I like the little, um, the look of it underneath. It was really cute. So then I also go inside, and I put some of the, um... Uh, tumbling blocks on the inside as well to keep it sturdy and here is the final reveal guys we made it to the end Woo! look at that look at that y'all look at it tell me that's not cute oh my goodness i loved everything you guys have to let me know if you have a favorite you have to let me know and i don't even know what kind of lighting i had on this thing but I like this like this if I can continue to do this lighting I like that but you guys gotta let me know if you have a favorite because I loved everyone today and I cannot choose and that sign that came from Dollar Tree and I left it just as it is but that's what inspired the um, anchor as well I'm like oh my god and oh yeah guys always remember fall in love every day every day you have an opportunity to open your eyes is an opportunity to fall in love with at least one something that day find the good the joy the peace and everything you see say do or touch don't allow anybody to steal your joy because they're not entitled to it so with all that being said guys go ahead and let me know let me know which one did you guys like did you like any of them did you not like any of them should i have done something different do you want to see another another nautical video? Because I think I'm going to go to another beachy video. I think I'm going to do that, guys. I do. So I'm really excited about today's project. So I am hoping you guys will let me know. And don't forget to check out my description box below. Go say hello to my girl. Tell her I'll be over there to hang out with her in a minute. And tell her I said thank you with a million kisses. I love her to pieces. I really do. Um, and I love collaborating with her. I love talking with her, collaborating with her, bouncing ideas off of her. And just sometimes, you know, we're, well, all the time, we're really on the same page all the time. So here, guys, that's what I want to show you, too. See all the stuff you can get up in there? Puh. Who you playing with? All those napkins, all those plates? Yes, honey. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> so, yeah. So just tell my girl I said hello. Um, and thank you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you guys for taking this ride with me. I love y'all to pieces. And remember, if you haven't already done so, lovies, please consider liking, subscribing, sharing, commenting, and just knowing that those comments are only desired and not required, just because I absolutely love to hang out with each and every one of you. So hugs and kisses, XOSXO. Until the next video, lovies, be safe, be kind, and happy crafting your days away. Bye!